great happened this week and I cannot wait to share it with you in this week's Dutch Diaries. So yeah, we've had a pretty exciting week here um, at the headquarters. We have finally managed to introduce um, Doc to one of my dogs. Now, those who follow me will probably be a little bit whoa <laughs> at the dog that I chose to introduce. A lot of the time when I'm introducing new dogs, I will put um, my, um, my, my peacekeeper, my, my sky, my eldest dog, my stooge dog, or one of the girls into the session because I know that I'm not going to have any troubles with them. I know that they're going to be accepting. I know that they're going to be uh, patient with sometimes the exception of you, Lily. Um, Terrier doesn't have much patience <laughs> uh, and isn't afraid to tell a dog if they're barking at her to back off. So when I chose Hunter, I chose Hunter for a particular reason. The first is that Sky and Lily would be absolutely fine. Sky and Lily have also walked with Dot on a socials walk when Dot was with her previous owners. So I know we've got good ground there. Whereas Hunter, he had none of that. Um, and he was showing nothing but interest. He was watching her through the window. We went from, you know, initially when he saw her, he was like, whoa, there's a big dog in the house. Um, his, his nemesis is big dogs and German shepherds because that's what, that's what bit him when he was a kid. A kid, a pup. <laughs> um, and we went from, I'm smelling you, you're in the house, everything's cool, I can see you out the window, I'll watch you. Um, they even went nose to nose at the window and were like, hey, I thought, oh, okay. So I put Hunter into the session and to be honest, I was really apprehensive. He's my boy. I put a lot of work into him. I didn't want it being undone. And my, my mate came over and helped me. Now she's worked with me in um, Elite. She's worked with me uh, with her own reactive dog. So she knows how I work. She's very respectful of how I work. And I knew that I could trust her to handle Dot. We've been putting in work previous to this. So Dot's okay with her. And and as soon as we got in the field, like Dot was initially like frustrated, but Hunter, my God, I was so proud of Hunter. He was like, oh yeah, it's that dog that's been living with us for a few weeks and I've never met yet. And he's just so chilled. So we managed to, uh, because he was so chilled, because there was no issues, there was no frustration, anxiety in him. Um, we were able to close the gap really quickly. Now, as soon as um, Dot was quiet, I then managed that distance and I brought Hunter closer and I was keeping an eye, an eye on him and he was just not bothered. So I thought, brilliant. And I got a little bit brave. Good girl. Right, let's walk. <laughs> nice and steady guys, that's it, you tell her. That's right, I said, okay, let's take the leads off. And my friend was like, what, what, are you sure, what? I was like, let's do it while I'm brave because they're both calm and comfortable, everything's cool, and sooner or later, it's gonna have to be done. So Dot was muzzled, as you could see in the video. Hunter wasn't, mostly because I just forgot to bring it down with me. Uh, but I do trust him not to, um, not to use his teeth where it is not deemed necessary. And so I say that because he did have to give Dot a couple of corrections. He's my youngest dog and he's eight. So as we know, the older we get, um, we get more aches and pains. And, and Dot immediately went to go and jump on his back. And he was like, don't do that. That, I think, that highlighted the thing with Hunter and that he's actually got some troubles there. So we're getting sorted for that and seen, um, seen for it. But he was really respectful about it. He was like, just don't do that. And she learned really quickly. Um, they did have another spat and that was over the tennis ball. Obviously Dot was muzzled uh, and Hunter had the tennis ball and, and Dot came to try and get it and Hunter was like, no. <laughs> so overall, whilst we did have, it was you know, it wasn't perfect by any means, but whilst we did have a couple of communicative corrections, it actually went really smoothly and it's it's really um, given me an opportunity to not only integrate the dogs together, but to really see what Dot's like with another dog, because I had no idea, hence the muzzle being on, and hence, um, you know, taking it as slowly as we have done. I, I just didn't know how she'd be. Like, you know, the, the last encounter that I did actually see her with another dog, she backed off, teeth snarling. There was a barrier between them, but she was, she was scared. 
So that was playing on my mind, but overall the interaction was good. Um, we're going to be doing it again with the girls. I, I've decided that I'm just going to do Hunter and the girls. So the next time uh, my friend's over, we're going to get Hunter and Dot together again, let them have a little play. Or the other way around, I don't know. And we'll get Sky and Lily in the field um, and then they can have a meet. And my aim is that when that's all done, that I can then start allowing Dot more freedom in the house with us as a family. That is... Are you rushing there? <laughs> something, something spiraled you into fast gear mode. <laughs> That's the aim. That's what I plan to um, update you on next week. But how exciting! I am so excited. I'm so happy that we got them together, especially with like with dogs with issues. I'm just over, um, over the moon. I guess the question um, that you're probably going to have on your lips is like, how did we do it? How did we get the dogs integrated like that? Well. You've watched the series, hopefully from the beginning, and if you haven't, feel free to go back. They're all listed. Uh, they're all listed in the channel that you can watch. Uh, watch them on. It's taken a lot of time. We've used a lot of scent. Um, we've taken a lot of precautions. So a lot of management, baby gates, separate rooms. Dots being created when dots coming through the house and having free time. Mine are in in the bedroom and and, and locked away there. And so because dogs see the world through their nose. And they've had a lot of each other's scent over the, the however however many weeks she's been here. And um, so that was one um, part to it. The second was then the visuals. I wanted to ensure that both of the dogs, all of the dogs, had nothing but positive experiences. We really want to build that bank of this smell is good. So when they're eating their dinner, they are, they are scenting Dot. When they're seeing her out the window... They might get a little bit frustrated, but at the end of the day, they're not getting hurt. And, and my dogs have been trained to go and get your toy. If you start to feel big emotions, go and get your toy or look at me for a treat, anything like that. And um, so we've had a, f a hell of a lot of time with um, that sort of stuff. Um, as I said, the girls have been on a walk with Dot before. Again, a positive experience, out exploring, good scent, good vibes. Um, and Hunter has had a lot of training with me where he's around different dogs and what he learns to do is he looks at me and we were in a safe space which is his field if you like it's his field he was having a good time nothing bad's ever happened there um and it was just all about positive experiences in fact there was a clip where you can see that they're really close and hunter actually goes in to say hello and doc goes and gets frustrated and hunter's like gets taken by surprise but he actually turns around and checks in with me to say are we good? And I'm like, yes, you're good. Fantastic. Here, have some treats. And um, he could have chosen to react back, but he didn't. He made a brilliant choice of come back to mom. That's the safe place. That's what he's been taught to do. And that was an automatic process. So really happy with him there. Um, and we're just going to continue with the positive experiences. We're just going to keep getting them together, managed um, until we get to a point where I feel that like I can walk them uh, together. You know, we go up in the field most mornings as a group. Um, until I feel comfortable that we can do that and then um, it's about getting the muzzle off and stuff. That is really the highlight of this week. We've been doing our regular things, going out, walking, scent work. Um, we haven't been out and about much in distracting places this week with people um, just, for, just for lack of time and doing other things but we'll be getting back to that. Um, and I'm going to save the next update for the next video. I think. Yeah, we're going to leave it there for this week. As always, if you know of a home for Dot, shoot us an email, let us know. If you've got any questions, fire them up below, ask me. If there's anything that you want to see, fire them up below and ask me. I'll leave it there. Speak to you soon. Ciao for now.